Hi, this is Lynn Dye. Today we're going to look at why you want to sign in with your Office 365 account when you're working on documents. And these are the things we're going to go over today. How to add your sites, your OneDrive for Business, your OneDrive Consumer account. And even if you have more than OneDrive Consumer, you can add it too. And this will be how uh, the backstage view and I'll show you I'll be showing you that I did a presentation several months ago and I called it office 365 overview you can see it over on SlideShare Let's look for my name it's uh, the latest one I did and you can download it or just look at it and that's just some things I think are real important when you're first starting out with your office 365 a few things that I wanted to show you today first to personalize your office by adding places in the back end of office so when you're in word excel or powerpoint you can click on add a place and add your onedrive sharepoint and more and then you can save your documents to those places here's a look at mine uh, my powerpoint some things that i had done so then now when i pull up my powerpoint I can see some of my more recent files which is really kind of nice let's let's go over here also to excel i wanted to show you how how I do things the way I've done things I've got multiple accounts I've got well, I've got one office 365 business account and then I've got uh, two OneDrive accounts that I use for storing personal files you know, I, I've got them separated but you can see that my the current account I have here has all three of my accounts listed. I can also, I can add another one. If I had another one to add, I could do that here. To get there, you know, I just opened up Excel and then I clicked on account to get here. If I wanted to switch account, if I just wanted to switch to that one, I could do that. But then I only have this connected service, but I want to go and switch back to this one. And you can see I've added my uh, sites account. Or, I'm sorry, my OneDrive business for business account, my SharePoint sites are down here, and then I've added two consumer sites. And I could add another one if I wanted to. You can add YouTube here, and I believe that you can add Dropbox. Uh, I, I'm not doing that right now. And then on the storage side, you can add, this is where you can add more accounts. This just makes it really nice for when you get to, when you need to save your files. And for me, I mainly stay logged in to one of my consumer accounts. It just works out pretty well for me that way. And it, and it doesn't really matter if I want to save something into my SharePoint sites because I can do that. So if I wanted to start a new blank workbook and say, put this in my, in my OneDrive for business, then I'm going to save it as, and I'll put it up here, just say test and save it. It will be there. And if I wanted to save, and I can go and save the same thing over in my other account if I want to. But uh, it's just, I wanted to show you this just to, to let you know you can have different accounts concurrently and just when you're saving things just remember where you're at and save them to the right place and you'll know you're signed in when you come up here you see that so you can change your photo different account settings you can switch your account here if you want to but this just makes things a lot easier you know where you're at you've got all of your sites built in there and it just saves a lot of time if you have any questions let me know hope you subscribe to my youtube account i'd appreciate it